we're back in the uh, cell block area. How the jailers in. You can see some of the old pictures of the gallows back here. Where either 22 or 23 people were hung. I'm not quite sure, I guess, exactly, but they said 22 or 23. Hood and Hank has to be used in a hanging. It took place in courtyard. You can see the courtyard there and back and all the people sit on the... God, if you imagine they did that today. used till 1987. Now the building was actually built, I think built in 1791 or 92. And it was first used as a residence and then they built on and made this a jail in the back, my understanding. detox cell. And the, those doors are very heavy. Now I normally walk in the dark, but I wanted to give you a sense of what this place looks like in, a, in, a, uh, in light. Four cozy beds in this jail cell. Falling 500 pound stone slab at jail nearly hits prisoner. Looks like there was an escape using a a rag, and I guess they made a look like what well, looks like to be a gun. Gun end. That was in 1986. Probably the reason why they closed it down. <laughs> Poems written by former inmates. <laughs> Let's see here. I live in Bardstown and was born to raise hell, but the law caught me and threw me in jail. Now here I am still doing time with nothing but freedom on my mind, but one day soon I will be free and jail will have seen the last of me. <laughs> Pretty good. Here's some, I guess, some of the uh, tools that they made or weapons they made, that is. They roll that book or sun up real tight and use that for a club. <laughs> Prisoner used a record player, toothbrush, and a ball point pen to make a tattoo gun. Picture is of a prisoner who had a tattoo made with a gun similar to, to this one. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Pizza steel on that.
you know, the upstairs used to be used for part of the jail, but now it's being used for a residence for the uh, innkeeper, that's where the innkeeper stays at. Hey, buddy. Not a lot of room. See the windows that they had back there. Haunted jail. Watch while we're here. <laughs> Usual crimes of the 1800s. Oh boy. Interesting. Altering poll books. Election rigging was really big back then, I could well imagine. Betting on election was a fine of a hundred dollars. <laughs> Concealing tax bills. Green bar turnpike. Horse stealing. Fine, four to eight years in penitentiary. Yeah. Hog stealing, fine. Hog stealing, fine, two to four years of penitentiary. If I use hog more than four dollars. Ku Klux and harassment. Fine, two, five. Public nuisance. In 1885, Nelson County, the stealing court near town of the New Hope. Distillery. Yeah. Racing a horse, fine, with ten dollars, and if trotting or galloping on a public way, standing a horse, fine, ten dollars plus three. More crimes, common crimes, arson. Huh. Disturbing religious worship. Fine, twenty to fifty dollars or jail for twenty days. Concealing deadly weapon. Fine was twenty five to hundred dollars. Very interesting. Murder. Two to 20 years in prison or hanging. I think they need to bring that back, the hanging part. Jesse and Frank James were frequent visitors to this area. They were related to our Sheriff Donnie Pence's wife. She was a cousin of James' brothers 
And so when they came here, they felt safe from the law within the law. Yeah, that makes sense. In the above picture, Donnie Pence and his wife are the far left. Okay, it must be them here. And the James brothers are on the far right. Right there. Notice the revolvers in the women's hand. <laughs> it's true. There's a revolver in her hand right there. Interesting. Donnie Pence was sheriff of Nelson County for more than 30 years, but most people remember him as a friend of Jesse and Jesse and friend James and Torres James brothers. Well, back then, I guess if they didn't break no law in Kentucky, it'd be all right. Is. I'm going to turn the night vision back on my camera. I'm going to turn the lights out. Okay. I'm going to see what map's in. It is pitch dark in here. SLS camera. I've got it showing down the hallway. Like it's yeah, it's 40 degrees in here. Not real warm.
Does anyone back here want to communicate with us? You can light this device up on the floor here. Or you can show yourself on this camera. It's called the SLS camera. Yeah, I'm setting it pitch, pitch dark. Except this, can, except this screen here, I can see that, but not much else. You guys are being awful quiet. Can you shut one of these doors in here? Can you make a noise? Could you say my name, John? There's nothing mapping in so far. Here the upstairs heater kick on. Well, guys, I'm here if you want to talk to me. Now's the time. Meter hasn't lit up one time. That's one thing you don't know for sure is if something's ever going to happen. <laughs> About like going fishing. Sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you get nothing. Come on now, I know you can do something in here. Come to the come to the jailer's inn just to see you. I 
know somebody can talk to me. Or at least show themselves, anyway. Can you walk out here in the hallway? I know my butt's getting cold sitting on this. Concrete. Yeah, it's cold in here. Now we were just upstairs a few minutes ago on the other segment of my video and we got the stick figures up there. It seems like that one room is always the most active. Oh, I see something try popping over here. Yeah, right there. Did you hear me talking about you? <laughs> oh, you just disappeared. this wall sticking out. My oh, buddy, you gonna come back? Come on back, little buddy. But as fast as he popped in, he left. Come on, little buddy, show yourself. You gonna show yourself to me, little buddy? Was you jailed in here? Walk over here, bud. There you are. Right there by the wall right there. Okay, he just left. Back again.
think I'm going to go back to the room. The room I'm staying in, they say it has some of the most activity in the place. Actually, where the bed and breakfast is located at. Okay, before I leave, anybody want to show themselves before I leave? Anybody want to talk? Anybody like this meter up on the floor? I haven't seen it lit up all the whole night. It's your time to do your thing. Okay, I'm gonna turn this device off. I was hoping somebody would do a little bit more. Some did pop in though. And I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds and I'll call it a wrap back here. Okay, now you popped in. Well, now you're on again. Okay, well.